All right, it's time for all the news that is news across the Starbase, or at least what I notice in this video. If you notice something I don't notice, tell me down in the comments. Kicking it off over in the main grand entryway, got an American flag that's been riding around on an, uh, a booster section there. Wonder what's going on with the American flag. We've we've seen it sort of on a couple different things, and it's the first we've we've sort of seen this. They put one on the tower before, but hey, I'd, all right, moving it over towards the mega bay. It looks like, and in it goes. So are they going to stack it that way? Was that just? A, I mean, clearly they have it facing the street, like the area you can see, right? So curious, what's going on there? Technically, that is made in America. Back over at the launch site, that assembly of the LR-1100, 11,000 actually, has been ongoing. You see a lot of dirt work happen there off the side. But once again, more cranes picking up crane parts to make larger cranes. It's cranes all the way down. The big pieces of the main boom moving around there. You can see the tagline, the worker there trying to control the sway and rotation of it by hauling on that tagline. Get it all lined up. Bolt it onto the rest of the boom. And go grab another piece. Hey, that piece has winches on it, or pulleys at least. What's the difference between a pulley and a winch? I feel like a winch has a motor, and a pulley can just be like its own thing. Huh. I really thought about that. There goes the four-point lifter, the FPL, if you've ever seen that abbreviated, moving into Mega Bay 2. Interesting, when you abbreviate things, SpaceX has an entire thing about not abbreviating things. They don't like acronyms. So SpaceX very f seldomly officially uses initialisms or abbreviations or acronyms. It's sort of their thing. It's like they're raging against NASA, right? Because NASA is all acronyms and initialisms. SpaceX just doesn't do that. So, moving some pipes over to the... Oh, looks like they're putting them in the trench. Typically, if you see an initialism, it's, it's made up by the community. It's not an official SpaceX thing. It's really cool how those ex excavators sometimes can also function as small cranes. Like, that thing can dig the trench that the pipe goes in, but it's also it's got a little hook load point on it and you can pick up things with it so looks like we've got another one from Mary here star hopper and work from across the way look at this there's two of them working in unison <laughs> well thank you I didn't know that this was going to be a, a, a thing and then they showed us more examples of the excavators working in unison what is that little it's like a raceway moving up and down a wire chain or something work continuing on the 11,000 crane it is delightfully yellow does everybody remember Franken crane right like the pieces of all the different crane parts put together to make one larger crane and it would look I mean it looked like it was coming from Mardi Gras or something because it was all different uh, colors but that one looks is delightfully coordinated over on the chopsticks you can see in the middle of the chopsticks yes there you go antennas strapped to the chopsticks they're just temporarily like wired onto there are they trying to weather them i could think it of other places at starbase you could weather something if you wanted to but it's very curious they have those strapped to the chopsticks got some painting going on here this is like detail work it's not like a little roller a little paintbrush did they literally put plastic <laughs> on their lift cage their lift rails so they didn't get paint on it i wonder over on the chopsticks carriage, you can see why things need to be painted constantly. There's actually a little bit, a couple rusty bits there on the bottom of it. That's the bottom of the pinchers. At some point, I think we said those pinchers or something. They're sort of like, what did we say? They hug the tallow. They, they hug the tower like a like a metal koala bear. It, you know what I mean. <laughs> There's the orbital launch mount. Work, of course, continuing. A little bit of scorching on there. Haven't seen them completely repaint the uh, the main legs. Those blast shields are cladding on the main legs. But is that actually happening right now on that lower orange lift? Or are we inspecting things? You got a roller? 
is measuring something. Work on the booster quick disconnect. How'd you like to be the worker on the left-hand side there? On the slopey bit of the OLM, sort of laying there with nothing but a four-story drop behind you? I need to look up exactly how many stories tall the uh, OLM is. Needed to get up in there, so we crawled over the little I-beam. I think that is an I-beam, not an H-beam, so I don't get corrected in the comments. To work in that area... I've seen a lot of questions about why there's scaffolding. Which is the scaffolding on the top of the OLM? Why do they put scaffolding there? Right? I'm waving my hand at the monitor. Uh, speaking of this, why do they put Woody inspecting the team's work? That came straight off of a roadside stand somewhere in Brownsville. Like you drive past, there's an old pickup truck, like a 1978 Ford truck that has like 100 pinatas in the back. I'm not sure exactly whose birthday it was, but <laughs> looking on up. The tower, there's the ship cutie arm, the entire arm. And then we're going to scroll it all the way back to the office building. In Star Factory, you can see that uh, cladding work, waterfall wall, curtain wall, whatever you want to call it. Almost extending all the way across the gap now. Oh, I wonder what fell off the chopsticks there. It was like a piece of snow or something, clearly not snow. We've got the chopsticks swinging around. You see that bright spotting light on the bottom of the drop-down stabilizer, right? As the stars and or planets wheel in the background. There through the doors, we can see a barrel section, not seeing a label on it. And that looks like somebody's Amazon deliveries. Is that the person at Starbase that carries the mail around like in the movies? Like there's somebody that works in the mail room and they carry a little cart of mail around Starbase and that's what that was, but with Amazon packages? Huh. Moving into a bit of a gray, hazy day here. Multiple different angles of the chopsticks. Elevator going down in the center of the chopsticks there as well. Have had a couple sort of hazy days out there. Been watching the solar power on our camera sites. We turn things on and off. We look at the solar forecast to make sure that we've got enough power because we don't want them to run out. But uh, we'll be fighting that, I think, over the coming week here, it looks like. Is that blue painter's tape, too, next to those antennas? <laughs> The entire tower looks almost a different color with the different lighting, this more diffused lighting. A little bit of fog or mist or something between the camera here. Here, the cutie arm is coming right at you. So this would be from the beach sort of pointing your way. And then this is from the side. Up the road as they're doing some work there. Yeah, here you go. All sorts of detailed work. The double line system on the back of the worker there so you can clip into two places at once as you move. When you're monkeying around up on the uh, an elevated work area like that, you don't want to unclip your clip and then clip to another spot. So you have two. You, you leave one clipped, and then you clip the second one. And then when the second one's securely clipped, then you unclip the first one, and you can, you can reel your way around those elevated work areas safely without ever becoming completely unclipped or disconnected from a, a structure that would catch you if you fall. Well, the, the, the line on your back catches you if you fall. Keeps you from falling very far. Here's another wide one of the orbital launch mount. One, two, three, four, five lifts in attendance today. I guess sometimes if you don't want to take the stairs, you just ride the lift up, then you crawl out of the lift. But there's the clipping system again. It's the lift moving away. Got some sun protection there on the red or orange hard hat guy. We're welding over there as well. Look at that, laying down on the edge there. We're actually welding something. Well, I'm not welding it, but they're welding something on the top of the OLM. That one plate actually has a little dip in it. I've never noticed that before. You see that one plate that's slightly different? Next to the white, uh, it looks like they've put a piece of styrofoam or cardboard or something over their line. There's a big old line. Look at that. Two, two big pipes sort of terminating there. They're still working on those hippos, the two silver structures in the foreground. Hopefully not with that bulldozer. It starts to roll up to him just as I say it. And here's both the towers and a smaller crane and the bigger yellow crane that's being assembled and Starhopper in the lower left. Getting more pipes, we see more and more pipes getting delivered. I'm wondering if they're plumbing that second tower. It's an awful lot of pipes to keep those things going. 
And there is another shot of the Rock Garden off in the distance. That says plus the chopsticks carriage. We'll delete that. I don't think that showed the chopsticks carriage. <laughs> I should ju I should just not say it, but if I don't say it, whatever. More nose cones inside the Star Factory. You can see some inspection stickers on some of the tiles, the little dots there. Tiles looking very good. Haven't filled in the little complicated tiles around the seam there. Here's a clean nose cone. Notice the work platform that sort of conforms to the shape of the nose cone there. So you don't have to have a lift that you're risking banging against the nose cone or anything. You just roll that thing around it and you can work at any area on the nose cone. Pretty cool to see. Oh, funeral dirge time. I don't know how to sing one. But that is the top of ship 26, the nose cone. Coming out of being cut off the rest of the ship and being carried off towards the scrapyard. You know something? If SpaceX doesn't need that thing, they can put it over at our river lot. I would be happy to turn it into an Airbnb. Why throw it away? Like, come on. You could do that. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to hang out with us whenever we do these summaries, we do them twice a week. You know how to get back to the channel. Like and subscribe or whatever. <laughs> My name's John. Thanks for Mary for being out and getting all of those shots. And we will see you nerds later. Remember, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, set your scale back 15 pounds tonight, Wednesday night, so that it still reads accurately Thursday afternoon. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. My mom sent me that one.